DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing a legs and abs straight set workout. So for this workout, we're going to do 12 exercises performed in straight sets, and we're going to do two sets of each exercise. Our working time is 30 seconds, our break time is 15 seconds, and for this workout, we will have no extended breaks. So be prepared for that. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to work. All right, we got about 20 seconds until we get started with our workout. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout now. So we're going to be going into our warm-up first. And our first exercise is going to be deep squat sit. So what we're going to do is get our feet about shoulder width apart, drop down into a squat, come back up. Here we go. So we're trying to drop down on these as far as we can. Kind of hang out there for a second, come back up. If you want, you can hang out even further. Sometimes I like to... Grab my toes with my hands, and pull my butt down, come back up. There we go. Nice and easy. Don't forget to breathe. Warming everything up, stretching it out. Last one here. After this, we're going into alternating lateral lunges. So get our feet nice and wide. There we go. Dropping down to one side, coming up to the other side. Make sure to keep that lower back nice and straight for all of our exercises today, unless otherwise stated. There we go. Jump down as far as you can. It's okay if you only do like a half rep and you're gonna come back up, totally fine. After this, we're gonna go in to alternating hip flexors. So we're gonna keep our feet in the same position. There we go. So what we're gonna do here, turn sideways, drop down, feel a stretch out right here in the hip flexor, come up, switch sides, same thing. Stretch it on the other side. Come up. Take your time. If you want, you can even drop down on that knee. Come up. Switch sides. There we go. One more each side. We're going to squatting lateral taps next. So we have our feet together. From here, drop down at the hips and knees, and then we're just going to tap out while staying squatted down. If this is maybe a little too difficult for you, what you can do is stand up and then we're just going to kind of do a hip abduction right here. If you want, you can do one or two each side. You can alternate each time if you want. Just like that. It's another little option there. Trying to warm up those glute meads right here. Next, we're going into leg swings. On the left side, I'm going to use the wall to stabilize myself. There we go. So hold on to the wall, kicking back, kicking forwards nice and easy. Feeling a stretch out in the hips as we go back. Stretching out in the hamstrings and glutes as we go forward. There we go, nice and easy. Don't forget to breathe. We're just switching sides for the next one. There we go, switching sides. So leg swings right side. There we go. Nice and easy. I'm not doing anything crazy here. Just trying to warm it up. After this, we got a little 20 second break and we're going into the workout. All right, we got about 20 seconds until we get started with our workout, our first exercise. What we're going to be going into is deadlift. So let's grab our dumbbells. From here, what we're going to do is feet about shoulder width apart, maybe even a little skinnier. We're going to drop down, keeping our forearms at the front of our knees the entire time, coming back up. So back nice and straight, coming down, back up. So dumbbells stay nice and close to our legs, just like that. So the butt's going to stay a little bit higher here, which is okay because we're wanting that extra little bit of glute and hamstring work. There we go, hinging at the hips, lower back nice and straight. Let's get one more. There we go, 15 seconds going back into it. Deadlift set two. About five seconds. Grab our dumbbells, make sure to pick your dumbbells up with your legs, not with your back. Here we go. 
dropping down, coming up. Remember, arms stay right on the knees right here. Back straight, chest out, head up. Exhale as you stand up, inhale as you drop down. There we go. One more. All right, so next we're going into a close split stance squat, left leg forward. So our feet, our foot, our back foot is not going to go far back here. We're going to keep the majority of the weight on our front foot, dropping down. Knee's going to come out over the toe here. So dropping down, coming up, dropping down, coming up. As you can see, I'm not going down all the way. There we go. If this puts a little bit too much tension or pressure onto that front knee, you can just do a normal split stance or split squat. Or static lunges, I like to call them sometimes. Like that. That's totally fine as well. What we're trying to do here, though, is kind of overload the quad big time. There we go. Going back into it. Get some water as needed. Remember, keep your uh, back nice and straight. Lower back nice and straight here. Same leg forward. Coming down. Up. Down. There we go. Again, exhale as we explode up. Overloading that front leg here. There we go. Feeling the catch fire. Get one more. There we go. All we're doing is switching sides. So, close foot stand squat. Right side. Here we go. Let's get ready. Coming down and up. Down and up. There we go. Come on. Starting to feel the burn. Here we go. Keep pushing. There we go. <clears throat> Going back into it. Set two. <sighs> Cruising through this. Here we go. Come on. Dropping down and up. Trying to keep our weight on that front foot. Forget to breathe. There we go. <clears throat> Ten seconds. Let's get one more. There we go. Good stuff. All right, next one in to RDLs, Romanian deadlifts. So, what we're going to do here? Slide in the knees. Dumbbell stays nice and close to the legs. Bending with the hips. Right here. Come up. Down. Lower back should not bend. So we don't want to look like this. We don't want to come down like this. We're not doing that. Nope. We're right here. Sinking the butt back. Stretching the hamstrings out. Chest out, head up. There we go. Great stuff. Good reps right there. Set two. Couple seconds. Here we go. Back into RDL. Stretch it out. Come up. Stretch it out. Come up. Here we go. Come on, keep pushing. Let's get a couple more. One more. 
All right, drop down to the ground. Next for some sitting reverse crunches. So, we're gonna stay in the seated position, put some weight on our hands, legs out, coming up into the crunch. Bam, bam, just like that. This is a little too tough. Just kind of drop down, come up. You could also come out, down, and it, there's a fly in here. More like that, doing a little leg lift too. Got a couple options there. Just do what you can. Come on. There we go. Going into it again. There's a mosquito in here. We had a little Easter party yesterday. Or get together, I should say. It wasn't a party. It was a get together. Bunch of family. Here we go. Set two. There we go. Come on. Let's go. Burn it up. Ah, oh, keep pushing. One more. Here we go. All right, we're going in the front squats this time. So you can grab one or two dumbbells. I'm just going to grab one here. I got a 40 right here, a nice heavy one. Right here, feet closer together on this one. Dropping down, coming up. Dropping down, coming up. There we go. You could use both, uh, two dumbbells too. Good reps here. This is that deep squat set comes in. So what you can do is drop down, hang out right here. Bam. There we go. Going back into it. Couple seconds. Here we go. Dropping down, coming up. Keep that back nice and straight, chest out, head up. You know the drill. Don't forget to breathe. Couple reps. Let's get one more. Here we go. All right, next we got deep reverse lunges, left side. So I'm gonna keep the left side forward here. Grab my 30s again. Put this back. Here we go, gonna drop back, big step back, and then come back, woo! There we go. So all I have to do here is I take a knee, still kind of sit back onto that knee that's down, and then drive up and forward. Boom! There we go. Come on. Big step back. There we go. Going back into it. Keep pushing. Got a nice sweat going on now. Here we go. Big step back. Come up. There we go. Keep pushing. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Ah, there we go. Good stuff. Switching sides. All right, so right leg stays forward, left foot drops back. Here we go. So, dropping back, coming up. Dropping back, coming up. Here we go. Good control movements. 
Good reps, good clean reps. Going to set two. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. Dropping back. Left foot goes back. Up. Back. Up. Keeping that back nice and straight. There we go. Come on, keep pushing. There we go. Good stuff. All right, we got two more squats coming up. So again, I'm just gonna hold a single dumbbell right here, feet nice and wide. Here we go, dropping down, coming up. There we go. I like to point my toes, get like 11 and 1. There we go, keep that back nice and straight. Come on. Keep going. Try to drop down a little further. Oh, yeah. Woo. That was my lack of flexibility shining through right there. <laughs> Going back into it. Come on. There we go. Dropping down. Woo! Coming up. Dropping down. Coming up. Chest out, head up. Back stay straight. There we go. Come on. We're almost done. We got one more. There we go. Woo! All right. We're gonna drop down on the ground. We got a glute bridge coming up. So we're gonna put the dumbbell on our hips right here. I don't want to get my white britches all dirty. So right there, coming up, back down, up, back down. Here we go. If this is too easy for you, you can always put a foot out. I'm up, back down, so just like that. My lack of flexibility requires me to use both feet. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I start stretching my hips out a lot more. They get tighter and tighter every day, I swear. Here we go, set two. We're all coming up, squeeze, back down, up and squeeze, back down. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Push it out. One more. There we go. Oh, we're going to stay on the ground here for some crunches. Let me just move that out of the way. So, for these, you can keep your feet on the ground or feet up. Right here, hands behind the head. We're going to come up. Also, keep those feet up. Every time you come up, try to get those shoulder blades off the ground and exhale. When you exhale, squeeze the core. There we go. Come on. Keep pushing. One more. There we go. Going back into it. Crunches set two. Here we go. Hand behind the head. 
open up, exhale, back down, up, exhale, back down. Here we go, make sure not to pull your neck or your head with your hands. Come on, 10 seconds. Here we go. Let's do one more. There we go. All right, last exercise we got. We're gonna go in to a squat burnout. So we're gonna see how fast we can do some squats here. So just body weight squats, nothing needed. Bang them out, here we go. Boom, boom, come on. Let's go. See how many you can get. And then let's try to beat it on the next one. Let's go. Can you do one a second? Remember, keep that back nice and straight. Here we go. You're in the machine. Come on. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Here we go. One more. Did you count them? Let's try to beat them. I have no, no idea how many I did, but I'm gonna try to go harder this time. Here we go. Come on, push it out. Let's go, bam, bam. Come on, push it. Let's go, let's go. Keep that back straight, weight in the heels. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Oh yeah, burn set, man, come on. 10 seconds. Keep pushing. Wow! Woo! Good job right there. Got that heart rate up nice and high. Oh, now my legs are feeling real good. Way to go, way to push it. Hope you guys enjoyed that workout. If you did, be sure. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. See you guys. Also, post in the comments how many squats did you get on those two burnout sets at the end. Let's see what numbers we have. See you guys.